So before talking about uh, this next uh, order traversal, the first thing I want to introduce is a specific type of tree known as a binary search tree. The entire idea behind a binary search tree is uh, very similar to what we have here. Uh, the only difference, though, is uh, every node can only have two children. Now, instead of reorganizing or restructuring this, uh, for my sake, I am just going to kind of uh, clean it up a little bit and uh, make it a little, let me, boom, there. I'm just going to strip out a few of these elements uh, just for our sake um, to make it a little easier to work off of. So I would remove, say, this J, and then I'm going to just pop out that D. So the entire premise now is that everything is in an order, right? Everything is in some same order as before. The only difference is now uh, there's only two children to work off of. The reason why this is important is because since we're looking at this binary search tree, I can work off of what we would classify as an in-order traversal. So if we think about it, we've done uh, pre-order where I go down to my children, or I, I visit myself and then I get to visit my children, and then a post-order where I visit my children, then I get to visit me. So an in order is very similar to how we evaluate uh, a lot of things. So let's just kind of look at that for a second. Four plus four. Well, what are we doing in our heads? Uh, what happens if I had done something like this? Plus four, four. That looks weird, right? That looks weird. Well, in theory, that's actually technically a pre-order. That's a post-order. We evaluate out numerical expressions in an in-order approach. So the algorithm, if you will, if I happen to be kind of looking at my in-order look, I say uh, I want to visit my left nodes first. So uh, for uh, each child, uh, well, I'm only going to have two children. So I actually want to, in order, my in dot left top child. That's how I'm just kind of representing, oh, go down to your left. Then I get to visit myself. Then I visit my right. And so as we can kind of see, what that would uh, entail for us is a, I, I start at A again, just like we've done in the past. I don't get to evaluate this just yet. Just like if we were to look at that 4 plus 4, what happens if I were to kind of come in and do something like this? Well, you notice that kind of left side of that plus sign has to get evaluated out first. And so it's very similar in that regard. So I immediately go to my left. Well, guess what? My left happens to have a child. So that has to get traversed first. Then I get to traverse this. Well. I go down to in order my right, but it has children, so I have to traverse it. Then I get to traverse myself. Then I get to traverse my right child. My right child has no additional children, so I can finally come up. Now that I've traversed this group, I get to uh, my left tree, if you will. I can visit my middle self, myself, and now I do another in order towards my right. So in this case, we see C has children, so I have to in, uh, in order visit traverse my left child, so that becomes my seven. Then I get to traverse myself, and then finally, since it's last, I get to traverse H. <laughs>